Page 14, morning. Well, let's look the piece over first. It's four lines long. Actually, it's twice as long because of the repeat signs. I'll talk about the repeat signs a little later. Trouble and treble clef on the first two lines, and treble and bass clef on the last two lines. See, we always look at the clef signs because you never know. Hmm. No sharps or flats in the key signature. When the key is C major, make sure you can do the C major scale. You probably ought to start doing these scales two octaves up and down now. Well, it, assuming you've been doing the scale. Now, if you don't know the scale, one octave, please. Just take it a step at a time. But do I do everything. The trill exercise, the accents, the whole bit that I described in the video. At 4-4 four, four time. Rhythm shouldn't be a problem with a bunch of quarter notes and half notes for the most part, but there's some trickiness going on in the left hand we'll talk about. Right hand first. Let's make sure we have the notes and rhythms. Now, here you're starting thumb here, and you're just here. No big, big problem, I hope. Now, measure five, you got to be here, in this position. There's no rest. What we're going to do is we're just going to reach up from measure four, you're here. Just reach up one key and you're here. And then you can bring the thumb up. We just change hand positions. We just crawl. We'll measure nine, you're here. Now they want you to come up with fifth finger here. And then come up with fifth finger again. Reach up. I don't want to move my hand anymore than I have to. So I'm going to suggest here. I measure, I measure ten rather than coming up to fifth finger. Come up, come up a little more and go fourth finger. Just reach up two instead of one and fourth finger. This way I'm in position to go on. I only move the hand once. And then the measure 12 and two, come down. This, this kind of fingering acts are quite common for the chord. That's a G chord and it's quite common. So, yeah. And then well, fifth finger on measure 13, so you're here. So you're just coming down here. It there. So you're moving around a little bit. You want to get to where you can actually make these moves without having to look at the keyboard eventually. The left hand, well, you got whole notes, a C and an E here. And you notice the curved line? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Well, remember that's a tie. So that C is tied. You're going to hold it down, just play the F, like so. Just reach down here, to, this is major seven, just reach down. We just changed hand positions. We were here, now we're here, because now we get bass clef, a, a G and a B, and the G is tied. So you, the top note you're playing, but you're holding the G down. And then just lift up and come down. You just, no, there's no real easy way to do it, you just lift up and move. Put the hands together, we're up here. Remember your, the left hand is now. But you're holding that C down. You get it? Let's go down to measure nine. We're here. And then you get C in the left hand. And then here. the hesitations, you'll be fine then going on. Well, you're fine in the right hand, so you can focus on moving the left hand down. Here, so you... We do practice hand moves in piano when we need to, so it's here. So, you put the hands together, and then go back over the trouble spots and get rid of the hesitations, and when you're finished with that, you think about the articulation. Lift up, Just like taking a breath. In the left hand, I suggest you try and connect it as best you can. Actually, if it makes it easier for you, you can go ahead and lift up. You gotta lift up anyway, so lift them up together. Get the idea? Here. And as far as the dynamics go, P for piano, the melody's in the right hand. So keep the left hand in the background, soft, whatever you think soft. And then you got the swell, you're going to go with the hair, go up to about a moderately soft, moderately loud, up to there and back, back down. The left hand's light in the background. And then measure 
measure five, moderately loud, mezzo forte, and the right hand. The left hand is still soft. Measure nine, you're soft in the right hand and very soft in the left. Measure 13, you go to moderately loud in the right and soft in the left. That's the idea. Again, you got to get comfortable enough with the music that you can feel these dynamics. And then finally the speed, moderato, yeah, nice and gentle. Don't drag it. That just, it's got to flow, but don't flow as fast as I was going before. Just, just, just a nice gentle flow is fun. And of course the repeat signs, you're repeating the first two lines and then you're repeating the second two lines. So, okay. don't copy me. You get into the music and you feel it. Remember the natural accents? One, two, three, four. Feel it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Feel these natural accents. Let's play it together very slowly and double check the notes and the rhythms. You should be playing the same note I'm playing at the same time. I'm not going to do the dynamics. I'm going to do both hands about the same, but we will do the repeats. And I'll try and do the phrasing like they've got. So I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready. One, two, ready, go. Repeat. Pete. 